Hey, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. I have had some requests for a craft room tour. I did one about three and a half years ago, but some of you want to see an updated one. And yes, my storage and my systems are a little bit different now. So let's dive in. I absolutely love having my craft room on the first floor of our house because even on weekends and times when the kids are home and I'm in here working, I'm still in the middle of things and I'm not all tucked away somewhere where I'm not involved in the action, which well, sometimes that is a drawback also because, you know, I have three kids and sometimes they're all over the place and I can't get things done. So it's kind of a, a plus and minus. There, when you walk in the house, this is the first room you see. And when I'm in here working and I'm making a big mess, um, it's kind of irritating. So we are in the process of getting a door put on here. So I think that is going to be such a great solution to this little problem that we have. Other than that, I absolutely love my craft room. I hope you guys do too. So let's start here. I have this giant shelving unit, which is really great because like I said, when you walk in, you see my room, but you can't really see what's going on here. I try to keep it fairly neat. And of course it's all cleaned up for you guys right now, but you can't see all this mess from just walking in, so that's great. Here is where I sit and do all of my videos and my crafting, and the most important thing to me, I think, with craft room organization is, well, two things. One, having everything right within reach so I don't have to get up and walk around the room, and baskets without lids. I am not the kind of gal that's gonna take something out pull off the lid, rifle through it, and find what I need. Everything needs to be really easy access. So you will see that in my craft room, I do have that. So let's get a little bit up close and personal with some of this stuff. The first couple shelves here, I have a little basket with sequins and rhinestones and little pearls. I have another accessory basket here with enamel dots and buttons. I have a whole big basket full of punches. Hi. <laughs> which I actually don't really use my punches so much anymore with all the die cutting framelits and dies that I have. I have a basket right here and this is my go-to for white paper scraps. Again, really easy access from my workspace. I could just throw them right in here. And then right, these two baskets have stamps in them. So I'll just pull this out. These are seasonal so you'll find a lot of Christmas stamps in here and then this is just a bunch of different stamps organized by manufacturer and then this unit here has watercolor paper my Copic paper and then my regular white cardstock now my next shelf here I have stickles and alcohol inks and then this piece right here is brand new to me. It is from Organize More. If you hop over to my blog, be sure to leave a comment because I'm gonna be giving away one of these babies. Isn't that exciting? I have chosen to store my clear stamps in this caddy. I absolutely love it. You can do embossing folders, you can do framelit sets, you can do stamp sets like I did. But I have them organized by company and they're really, really super easy access. You can pick this up and take it with you or you can leave it on your shelf, obviously. Next on my shelf I have some ribbon and vanilla and craft cardstock and some more white cardstock here. Now we're moving up to the next shelf and I have some markers. I have a little caddy with scissors and hole punches. I have a little die storage thing here. I saw this online. It has these magnetic sheets in it. This is kind of a mess right now, but you get the idea. You can write the name of the die right on the back and then have them sticking right in here. It's pretty cool. Now the only problem with this for my way of storing things is guess what? It has a lid. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm really, really digging this. I may move to another system. My favorite way is these Ellen Hudson. These are really thick plastic and they come with a magnetic sheet inside and you can buy these separately. So I may end up moving to the storage system. I like this better. It just is easier for me. Rifling through this whole big suitcase here is a little bit cumbersome, but that's just my opinion. And then up here I have some papers and my Copic markers and photos. Now way up on top, hi, <laughs> 
This is a very interesting video to film, I must say. <laughs> I have baskets and this is cards and I have rubbing alcohol and then I have a little basket that has like my palette knife in here for embossing paste and whatnot. And this is a basket that actually I don't even really know what's in there. It's just kind of a mess, so we won't talk about that. Up at the very top here, I have a box for each girl and I throw important little um, things in here like notes from teachers, report cards, maybe notes that they wrote, Christmas lists, all kinds of things like that. So when they get older, I'll hand them their box and they can go through it and decide what they want to keep and what they want to toss. Now let's talk about my workspace. I have this great craft sheet by Ranger and I use it 100% of the time. And my stamp and scrub for cleaning my stamps and a little basket with my clear blocks and my heat tool. It's always there and it's right within reach. I have a little basket for scraps and right underneath here I have a big basket for my big scraps and where I empty that in from time to time. I have this round caddy and I keep my adhesives and my water bottles and my scissors and all the things that I use on almost every single project I keep right in here and it's super convenient and I absolutely love it. Now above my work surface, I have a spinning caddy that has little containers from Stampin' Up! Little Brads, which I actually don't really use anymore, buttons and various things like that. More stamps. And way up here, I have all my embossing paste. And then in here, I have spray inks. Again, everything is really easy access. Just to the right of my work area, I have a two-tiered shelving unit that's really convenient for being able to put a bunch of stuff in a small space. I have another organizer by Organize More, and this one allows me to store a ton of ink pads in a really small space. I don't remember the dimensions or how many pads it holds, but I'll add all of that information on my blog. These uh, fit Hero Arts ink pads, Imagine Crafts ink pads, and my Memento ink in here, some of my Ranger archival inks, um, Mama Elephant and Avery L. Pigment ink pads fit in here along with my distress ink pads. The only thing is don't push them back too far then you gotta shimmy your finger in there to pull them back out. The Stampin' Up! ink pads don't quite fit in here. The pads are a little bit too wide for that but they do sell a different version of this that does fit the Stampin' Up! ink pads. Here I have a little basket with all of my little Memento Dewdrop ink pads and then here I have some glitter and crystal effects and just various little things like that. My sanding blocks, some re-inkers, a box with a lid. So, huh, I don't even know what's in there. Probably don't need it. <laughs> wow embossing powders. Other embossing powders and a basket full of twine and ribbon. Now moving over to the right side of my workspace, I have a buffet table. This actually is a set. I have a table in here and a buffet table and it's from my parents dining room set when I was a child. So it's worked out just great for me. I have my Stampin' Up! ink pads in my color caddy and then I have a basket full of dies and embossing folders and my Big Shot. In this drawer I have more accessories for my Big Shot and some extra ink pads that I don't really use that much. And down under here we won't mention that kind of a mess. It has stuff for the kids, so we won't talk about that. Now this piece of furniture here is another dining room buffet cabinet. Maybe I love buffet cabinets. I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> they come in real handy in your craft room. So if you have one, an extra one, or you go to a yard sale, um, think about getting one. They're great. I have another storage system that I got from Michaels and I have my Copic markers in here, some distress inks, distress paints, my gelatos, and then in here I have ink blending tools and extra little foam pads. And then in here, this is a drawer of deliciousness sequins. And then underneath, I have photos and journaling pens. And then this part is pretty much my favorite. Look at these drawers. These are so awesome. <laughs> but guess what? 
This is stuff that I don't use so much because it's not so much easy access. So I just have some various embellishments in here that I probably could get rid of because I don't use them. And then I have some Project Life stuff and then extra cards that are getting ready to be given away as gifts. And then in this last drawer is like our router and modem and things like that. So it's behind a closed door. You don't really see it or you don't see it at all. And it's um, just tucked away. Now the last thing here is under my shelving unit. And if you have any questions about this, I actually kind of designed this and my husband built it for me. He just built some shelves on the bottom and then took a giant piece of whatever this is and um, nailed it to the top. And it's fantastic. It's the greatest little piece of furniture ever. I have 12 by 12 cardstock. I have some of those bigger dies from my Big Shot photo albums. And then here I have colored cardstock. So I guess that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this room tour. Don't forget to hop over to my blog, but first subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any more videos by me. And on my blog, be sure to leave a comment so you can enter to win that fabulous caddy by Organize More. Thank you so much to Organize More for sponsoring that and offering that prize up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.